we've all had a crazy idea or two in our time. And sometimes those ideas go badly, like when I had the crazy idea to try and swallow that cat whole. He's actually still stuck in my throat, bless him. But sometimes those crazy ideas actually work out in the best way possible. These are the craziest ideas that worked out fine. Number 15. Shade Balls. Who would have thought that something so fun to watch could also have so many benefits? Little black plastic balls are being deployed across many waterways for a variety of reasons. Not only is it mesmerizing to watch workers empty bags and bags of balls into the water, but they also prove useful for some surprising reasons. For example, in 2007, the LA Department of Water and Power was battling with a serious water problem. Their reservoirs contained the naturally occurring bromide. When they added chlorine to disinfect the water, it was reacting with the bromide and sunlight to form bromate, a carcinogen. In Los Angeles, workers poured 96 million water-weighted balls into main water reservoirs to block that sunlight at a cost of around $34.5 million. However, the balls also had the surprising benefit of being able to reduce evaporation. They were expected to last around 10 years before they would be recycled. Over the years, these balls have also proved useful for stopping birds from using bodies of water near airports and controlling the vapors in industrial ammonia tanks. Petroleum businesses even use them to prevent water evaporating at their sites. Like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Eco-Friendly Wi-Fi Hotspot We are a throwaway society, and while we are getting better at choosing eco-friendly products, not all of us recycle our waste products as much as we should. One company had a crazy idea that actually turned out to be quite successful. Solar Outdoor Media UG wanted to promote a healthy community connection and encourage recycling at the same time. They came up with the Solar Wi-Fi Eco Bin, which would be a solar-powered advertising platform, a recycling unit, and a convenient internet hotspot and charging center for people with mobile devices. The solar panels on top allow all four side panels to light up with the operator's advertising. They also have internal Wi-Fi extenders that would enable consumers to hook into the internet. Each unit also comes with four USB ports for device charging. How better to encourage recycling than by offering free internet and device charging. It seems that Solar Outdoor Media UG is onto a winner. They also had plans to release models that could connect to the grid if the batteries drained or the solar system is not in use. Number 13. Glowing Bike Path it was a crazy idea that would have probably worked out fine and had done in other parts of the world. Many people are familiar with the Van Gogh Roosgaard bicycle path in the Netherlands. It's a beautiful glow-in-the-dark pathway that's both aesthetically pleasing and useful for cyclists and walkers in low lighting. Waterloo City Council in Canada toyed with the idea of doing something similar when they upgraded their promenade trail and bridge in Waterloo Park. Still, it would come at a cost of $800,000. Even though the upgrade was already going to cost $2.5 million, the general consensus was that it wasn't the best use of the money. They weren't sure whether the glowing stones would hold up against Canadian winters. They also didn't know what the likely maintenance costs would be. Even though a luminous path would be the first in North America, there were too many unknowns and a lack of interest in the project. Instead of using that $800,000 for the lighting, the council would use it for a boardwalk, new lighting, benches, trees, and a separate trail for pedestrians and cyclists. Number 12. Blue Street Lights 
If you ever see blue street lights where you live, you may think it's a little strange. After all, most street lighting is, well, white. However, as crazy as this idea might sound, the blue lights are there for a purpose, to prevent deaths and accidents. There's been a lot of research carried out into the psychology of color, and blue seems to be one of those colors that gets more attention than others. Some studies show that it may be effective for seasonal affective disorder and for reducing the stress response. Response. With this research in mind, several countries have introduced blue lighting in their crime and accident hotspots to see if it would have any effect. For example, in Glasgow, Scotland, blue street lighting was installed in 2000. Afterward, crime numbers in these areas decreased. In 2005, in Nara, Japan, crime in blue illuminated areas decreased by around 9%. The blue lighting has even been installed around train stations to try and reduce the numbers of people jumping in front of trains. The more cities that saw results, the more popular the blue lighting became. It may only be a matter of time before we see these lights in crime hotspots and accident zones around the world. Number 11. Ants for Stitches Medicine has grown in leaps and bounds over the years, but not everyone has access to a first aid kit when they need it the most. And as crazy as this idea we're about to explore sounds, it's actually quite feasible if you find yourself in a bit of a pinch. Say, for example, you're exploring the great outdoors, or you end up lost. You accidentally cut yourself on something, and it's bleeding profusely. With no bandages, needle, or thread to close the wound, what are you supposed to do? You gather up some army ants and put them to work. Huh? Yeah, it's a crazy idea, but it might just work. Army ants have wide open mandibles, and when you grab the ant by the head, they spread them out wide. When you position them on either side of your cut, they immediately clamp down as if they were piercing their enemy. Given that their mandibles are so sharp, they have no problem punching through human skin. You can then snip off the ant's head and leave the head and mandibles in place like a staple. They can then remain locked in place until your wound heals. Sure, it's not the safest or most hygienic suture method, but it sure beats leaving an open wound when you find yourself lost. Number 10. Norwegian Mirrors Never underestimate the benefits of sunshine. It can improve your sleep, reduce stress, fight off depression, and even strengthen your immune system. But we may take it for granted that the sun will always be there. The occupants of a small Norwegian village, Ryukan, know all too well how it feels to go without sunshine. For six months of the year, they don't get any at all. But that all changed in 2013 when they installed three massive 183 square foot mirrors on a 1,310 foot mountain peak. By installing these mirrors, they were able to reflect sunlight onto their village square, covering around 6,459 square feet. About $849,000 was raised for the project, and watching the sun hit the square for the first time was a momentous occasion. Townspeople gathered with parasols and deck chairs and even had an orchestra playing Let the Sunshine. The citizens of this little Norwegian town hoped the sunshine would bring tourists to the area in the future, and they now no longer have to put up with dismal gray days for half the year. Number 9. Piano Stairs Why should everyday tasks be tedious? Why can't we have fun in everything we do? Volkswagen supported an initiative known as the Fun Theory, which was based on the idea that fun, which is quite simple, can change your behavior for the better. With that theory in mind, the team from Fun Factory decided to install some quite fun stairs next to an escalator. How can stairs be fun? We're glad you asked. These were no ordinary stairs, they were piano keys. With each step you took, you were able to create a note. The stairs were first installed in Sweden, but the idea took off and the concept video received millions of views on YouTube. The piano stairs were then installed in Colombia, Stockholm, Istanbul, Milan, Auckland in New Zealand, and Melbourne in Australia. Leading up the stairs, there would be writing on some of them with statements like, take a step towards good health. 
To be honest, when you're in an empty mall and you take the stairs and hear the piano keys ring out, it might seem a little scary. But once more and more people use the stairs, a constant melody becomes a source of fun rather than fear. Number 8. Detecting Mines Landmines are explosive devices under or on the ground, concealed from sight. They were used to destroy enemy targets that pass over it. The problem is, they're dangerous long after conflicts have ended. There are nearly 80 countries with landmines still out there, and they kill and maim tens of thousands of people annually. Many military dogs are tasked with the job of smelling out the landmines. However, a crazy idea was that perhaps rats could perform this task. After all, they have an amazing sense of smell. A Belgian NGO known as the Anti-Personnel Landmines Removal Product Development, or APOPO, was tasked with using pet rats to detect explosives like landmines. Every time she sniffs a mine, she scratches the surface at the spot. They are less expensive than dogs, often more accurate, and their lightweight means they can safely walk across landmines. The rats used for this job were Gambian pouched rats, also called giant African rats. They can weigh as much as 3 pounds and measure up to 3 feet long. For 9 months of their life, they undergo training where they're taught to smell explosive powder with positive reinforcement and clicker techniques. They then learn to scratch the soil when they detect the explosive powder. Given that these rats can live for up to around 8 years, they can uncover hundreds of explosives over that time. Number 7. Hammock Chair Hammocks are a staple of summer. You can connect them between two trees or structures and relax in the sunshine with a good book and a beverage. The problem is, because you're laying down, it's so easy to become unbalanced. You can then end up tipping over, wearing your drink, and losing your book. All of a sudden, that relaxing summer activity becomes something that stresses you out. That is where the hammock chair comes in. This idea might have been seen as crazy, but it actually worked out fine. Instead of lying down in a hammock, you sit up in a hammock chair. Your feet dangle over the edges, and you can have full control over how you sit in it. Some of them even come with frames, so you don't always have to install hooks in your structures or trees. Hammock chairs can also be suitable for one or two people, and they're just as comfortable as those you buy to lie down in. The idea took off with such speed that manufacturers were frantically trying to come up with ways to outdo their competitors. Now, consumers have access to a broad range of hammock chairs in various styles, colors, and materials to suit their home decor. Number 6. Fish Eating Dead Skin most people who book in for a pedicure expect their beautician to get to work with files and pumice stone. But if you book in for a pedicure in Southeast Asia, you may find you're in for an entirely different experience altogether. Instead of pumice stone and files, around a hundred small toothless carp called Gerarufa are put to work instead. These fish nibble on your feet's dead skin and have even been known to relieve the symptoms of eczema and psoriasis. When you arrive at a parlor offering this style of pedicure, the fish are all kept in a large communal tank. Around 100 of them are then moved to your individual foot bath. The beautician will inspect your feet for any infections or cuts, and you can then rinse your feet thoroughly and put them in the spa full of fish. The fish congregate around hard patches of dead skin and, because they have no teeth, it feels like they're tickling your feet. These fish used to be popular in Europe and North America, but the practice has mostly died out due to animal welfare and health concerns. Number 5. Flame Wedding we can only imagine that the person who came up with the idea of killing weeds with fire was at their wit's end. They probably tried almost everything else before eventually saying, stuff it, I'm gonna burn them all. This crazy idea obviously worked to a degree because flame weeding is actually now a thing. You can buy dedicated flamethrowers to heat the weeds and kill them without the need for harsh chemicals.
Weed spraying with chemicals has its place, but many people don't like the idea of contaminating groundwater, their gardens, and putting their pets at risk. So they purchase a flame weeder that heats the plant tissues to kill them, but not burn up the weed. The flame will kill the above ground part of the weed, but it doesn't take care of the roots. So while annual weeds will end up dead, some perennial weeds will regrow from the soil. You may then need to repeat the practice until those weeds eventually give up. Some people often find that flame weeding is a suitable practice for weeds up to two inches high and those that grow around fences, sidewalks, and garden barriers. Number four. Plastic Wishbones A bird's wishbone, known as the furcula, is often dried after the chicken is eaten. Once it is dried, two people can hold one end of the bone with their pinky finger and snap it. The tradition dates back to early Italian civilization, intending to preserve the chicken's divine powers. Now, every time someone sees a wishbone in their chicken or turkey, they excitedly remove it, preserve it, or snap it. The sad part is, there's only one in each bird, so many people miss out. Yesterday we had Thanksgiving dinner and we have a wishbone here. So some genius came up with the idea of plastic wishbones. Many people were excited about the fact that there'd be no fights between kids who missed out on the wishbone. But even more people were concerned about plastic waste. As it is, an extra 1.2 million tons per week of rubbish is created between Thanksgiving and New Year's Day in the US. During the festive season, there's at least an additional 6 million tons. Even though these plastic wishbones are supposedly recyclable, there's a high chance many of them will end up in landfills, or worse, the ocean. So while it's a good idea for parents who want to prevent arguments with their kids, it's maybe not so great for the environment. Number 3. Bottled Air what started as a joke ended up being a successful business for Moses Lamb, the co-founder of Vitality Air in Edmonton, Canada. Moses bottled 100 bottles of air and sold them. When they sold out in four days, he realized there actually was a demand for clean air. And he wasn't wrong. The Max Planck Institute for Chemistry states that over a million people die in China due to air pollution. Weird. It doesn't taste like anything. Air pollution also leads to failed harvests, driving bans, and even canceled flights. The smog in Beijing and Shanghai can be so bad that people have started importing oxygen bottles for around $20 each. Each bottle has enough air for about 150 inhalations. So what started as a joke ended up being quite a moneymaker for Moses and Vitality Air. They now have subsidiaries in India, China, Korea, and Vietnam. Every fortnight, workers visit the Rocky Mountains and Canada to collect hundreds of thousands of liters of air. It then goes through a production process to compress and purify it since only 20% of air is pure oxygen. Number 2. Bags of Dirt who would have thought that bags of dirt would become a massive commercial success? After all, if you go on a short walk with a shovel, you're bound to find soil for free somewhere. But there's a reason why it's so successful. The dirt has been modified to suit various tasks. What a genius move. For example, you can buy black garden soil that works well for vegetable gardens, top dressing, overseeding lawns, and flower beds. Pallet, and it's moved by a hand-operated pallet truck like this one. It comes with a mixture of loam and manure that promotes plant growth. You can also buy topsoil which you can mix with compost and use for seeding, planting, and patching. Some topsoils contain organic compost, and most are an all-purpose soil type that you can use for most gardening tasks. Lawn soil, on the other hand, is a dedicated soil type you can buy for repairing lawns and overseeding them. They have additives that support new growth and improve your lawn's water retention. If you want something for indoor and outdoor container planting, then choose all-purpose potting soil. It has plenty of added nutrients and can also increase water retention. Isn't it amazing to think that you can actually buy bags of dirt? Number 1. Table Bench 
Versatile, multi-purpose furniture has always been popular. In fact, anything that can do more than one thing makes you open your wallet a little wider. This table bench, though, was once a crazy idea that took off. Even decades after its invention, it remains a popular product. Finn Jewell designed a variety of furniture with steel pipe frames during the 1950s. Part of his collection was the table bench, which, as the name suggests, could be a table or a bench. Finn traveled across 22 North American cities over a three-year period to show off his piece, and around 650,000 people got to see it in the flesh. Given how timeless and elegant it is, it continues to achieve high prices at auctions. And we're not surprised. You can use it as a coffee table in your home, add extensions, and use it as a bench. Why wouldn't you pay top dollar for such a product? Even today, it's available for purchase in walnut, teak, oak, black linoleum, and Oregon pine. It can come with a burnished steel frame or a black one with orange or light blue. These table benches come with wooden toes and a matte polished brass finish. The icing on the cake is the foldable padded cushion in leather or fabric. Some of these ideas just seem too crazy to have ever worked, but they did. So if you've got an idea brewing, let this be your motivation to make it work. Why not share some of your crazy ideas or inventions in the comments? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.